Alright, and... Oh, we got a vine circulate. Uh, if that's how you pronounce it. Which is probably not. There you go. And now I have... Like, you can see my energy shield is even going, going more up. So I have a lot of effective health, basically. And so I'm just going to use this time to run around. Uh, that's right, that's the plate vest I found before. And I see items like that on the ground, I'm like, damn, I really want to go back to town and sell that. Oh shit, no town portals. <laughs> I wonder why. Alright, and there's more wall shoes and a corroded blade, so... Oh well. Yeah, this place is infinitely easier than the last one, but I'm guessing every class have, has its own problems. Uh, with, with every single area, you know? And, and it, honestly, it does come down a bit to the luck of the draw. Um... If if I if I if I just happen to get like you know the craziest gear in the game in this run, then that I'm sure some people are doing that. Uh, then you know that's kind of what happens. But you know I, I I am playing a bit safe because I don't want to die. And as I said, I have a full hour to basically go uh, and go at the progression I want. Anyways, anyway, talking about the attribute points, um, intelligence gives me mana and energy shield. So I get I get one uh, percent more energy shield on top of every. Uh, energy point I get in that is given by my armor and whatever. I also get more mana, so this is basically the mana class, obviously. You might have guessed. So, energy shield is what I will depend upon mostly for my health. Um, there's a lot of nodes in the passive tree that allow me to get some better... Uh, uh, some some better, uh, like, more percentages to, to energy shield. However, I probably won't be getting them, because... The way this, this, this league works is I probably shouldn't expect to get up that far in level. Uh, it is supposed to be a little bit of a race, uh, but you know, it's one of those things you can't you can't expect much. And I'm I'm actually debating right now. Yeah, look at this huge bob here. Oh god, I seem to be having a problem. I, sorry, I just uh, I did something called the OOS, which is a it's the resyncing command you can give to the game. Okay, I'm just looking. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this to a magic item, which I'm going to actually do. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I can't. Okay, so I had an item that basically can I I can enhance uh, an, an item to a magical item. So I used it on my flask, but the flask ended up being shit. So like it gives me more stun recovery, which is something I really don't need. And that's a hero. That's a hero that resists. Uh, he moves quickly, resists elemental damage. So that's guess what I'm doing. And he's also going to be up in my face all the time. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. He's a uh, he's a heavy melee character, so and I am currently out of uh, I can't flask around him, but I do have a lot of corpses here to kite him with, basically. Cause uh, I, I can just keep using the zombies to basically, you know, he's he's aggroed on them right now. And then we win. So there's a branch here, another wand, and a coral ring. So I want to get that coral ring, because that gives me more life and mana regeneration. That's definitely something I think we're going to just keep. Um, there's also uh, there's a branch here, and also this thing. Uh, that's not no better. Uh, there's also, yeah, the, the branch I could maybe use if it uses spell damage. No, it doesn't. Okay, and the rest of this is just fucking useless to me. So I might as well just drop it all. Because, as I said, can't go back to town. It, as much as it pains me, that's, that's probably the hardest thing about learning this league. I do like the mana, the mana regeneration I get now. That's going to make things a whole lot easier. Uh, because that's one of my biggest issues is right now. Mana. And we should be near the end here, but I do want to explore this last like little area. Because look, look how close I am to that level up. I think it is important for me to get as soon as I can, like, as soon as I can into these levels because doing that gives me more passive tree points and that does more damage. Like, really early on in every passive tree, there's a whole lot of great points for you to get. And so that's why I, I personally highly recommend that um, if you're doing something. But, uh, you know, I don't know anything about Descent League, so, you know, this is not, this is maybe piss poor advice. Who knows? And, and this game does have a, quite a good economy. It's actually pretty interesting. Also, I forgot I was talking about um, what the different attribute po points do. Okay, so strength also does it does one life every strength point you have and gives you more melee f physical damage. So obviously, something like a Marauder would, uh, which is the pure strength class. Okay, here we go. Um, so the Curious one will give me Spark and Firestorm, and Alluring will give me Freezing Pulse and Ice Spear. I'm going to take Alluring. 
because these are actually really quite good abilities. Fuck off. Okay, um... Screw the f well, we'll probably keep the fireball on something else. Um, uh, but I want to keep, I want to keep, uh, I want to have ice spear because that's actually, even though it's not good for summons, it is extremely good for ranging things and freezing them and keeping them away from me. So that's why I decided that one. Yeah, like that would be an issue. It's also cursed me with it. Uh, I take more damage from critical hits, and I'm more likely to get critical hit. And right on, right, really early on, I get already I think this all these guys. But that's why I have Freezing Pulse in this. So I get to kind of like, oh my god, this is terrible. He's going to just keep resurrecting shit. Uh, his energy shield is coming back. Let's see if we can kill him. Luckily I leveled up. Okay, I'm going to kind of kill some of these guys. Yeah, there's, that's a Roa, and there's a shit ton of skeletons here. My energy shield does come back after like a couple of seconds. Look at that. See, this is why I have this. And he can't resurrect the guys I just froze. So you know what? I think I made a good call. I'm sorry. You can go, you can go say whatever you want, but I, I fucking made the best call I could have made. If I came in here with a spark and firestorm... He's just gonna keep rezzing things because he's a total asshole. Life is fleeting. I don't know why she just said that, but uh, here we go. We got 13 to maximum life, so we'll take that. Unfortunately, we are kind of running out of gems here, but that's okay. We're still okay. We can either get wrap boots, which would be kind of nice for later. We can also get chainmail vest, which is also kind of good for right now, so we're going to take that. Oh, that also has sockets I actually want to see. So we're going to continue to get some cast speed, and also, uh, can I res some zombies? Yes, I can. And now we can go and... Upgrade these two guys here. Uh, padded vest is for ev evasion, so... Oh, that's the last one, is uh, dexterity gives you accuracy and evasion shield. So, accuracy helps you hit more. Doesn't do anything to, to actual spells. Spells always hit. Um, and But evasion helps you dodge attacks, so you can negate attacks completely. Not as good as you would actually think, um, because then you're eventually going to have to take a couple of full hits. And that's really going to suck for you, because it's just like, well, you're taking full hits from, from a whole bunch of shit. So I, I'm, I'm reasonably tanky right now, so I'm actually quite content with just doing this. And that's a that's a rusted coif, uh, which I will not actually use, because I have a uh, plus life on my current stuff there. There we go. Okay. Um... I, I'm not a fan of evasion, and neither is Pat, if you actually watched uh, us play this on a stream at all. I know I know ARPGs can get pretty repetitive with their abilities, which is which is actually said, as I said, this is why I reason, uh, this is the reason I actually chose to do Descent as my, uh, uh, as my choice of, uh, basically, um, wow, there's a lot of shit here. It feels like my guys are kind of inadequate here. Fucking blue Roas. Roas are the worst. They can fucking stun lock you, so I'm gonna get around a corner somewhere. Find some corpses. I'm not afraid to run away from these guys if I need to and get behind some cover here. Fortunately, whenever. I, this is the disadvantage. If I freeze someone, I don't get any bonuses. If I kill them with fire, though, I can. I, I don't mean bonuses. I, I can't get zombies, basically. I can get a round shield or a driftwood club. I don't want either one because I am a witch. And witches don't don't care about that kind of thing. They they think it's foolish. Oh, there's two necros here. Oh, there's another one. And I'm also really running out of mana. I'm hoping that my uh, my guys over there are gonna be sufficient distractions. There we go. We got some rawhide boots. Ooh, that that lagged me just slightly. Uh. I, I, I have a bit of a problem. I don't have enough uh, mana. I have to. I'm gonna have to start hitting stuff now. Okay, let's let's get another mana potion in here. As much as I, I hate to do this right now, um, it's a terrible idea. I never do this, by the way. What I what I just did. Uh, I I'm replacing some of my stuff. I can get more mana regeneration though if I choose to. Okay, let's get this last guy right here. We're gonna make some zombies. Because that means it's more that he can't summon. And 
the idea is we're just gonna freeze them. There we go. And that wor that one all well that one much better than expected. So I can get rawhide boots. These might have more attributes that I want, and that actually is pretty good attribute points. So we're gonna put freezing pulse over here, and this gives me 10% more movement speed, which is nice. Even though evasion, I don't particularly care for. I don't think things like that are gonna make a difference right now. I'm gonna actually keep, not use this simple robe. Okay, well there you go. That's uh, some tough encounters uh, brought to you by your, your good friend Mike. Uh, and so a little bit about some other of the game mechanics, um, like how flask charges work. Uh, basically, you're noticing in my bottom left, I have a bunch of flasks there, and you're wondering probably how I'm getting refilling them. Basically, the way flasks work in this game is they're based upon uh, attributes like this, and it has charges in them if you just pause and look at it, because I'm currently playing a game. <laughs> you can just pause and look at them. Um, and, and what that basically means is... Uh, for flash charges is, you know, I probably should use that Orb of Alchemy on, on a wand, it just occurred to me. I'd probably get a really good wand at this point. I don't know, whatever. Uh, flash charges, every time I kill something, I get one flash charge. And so I basically refill my health potions and stuff by killing enemies. Uh, which is, you know, it's not ideal, obviously, because it's like, sometimes I'll be in combat like right now, and I don't, I don't want to kill these guys. Like right now, but you know, I have to I have to deal with them because like, they're here. They're queer and they're Oh shit. Oh boy. Uh let's get around this corner, because th these guys do their most damage when they charge me. I need more mana. And this is also the reason I put so much emphasis on uh having these guys. Uh, so, oh god, and he's gonna he's gonna keep resing them. I forgot about that. Okay, let's just kill this guy. We have to man mode this just slightly, but the fireball does do a bit of splash, and that's it. We've de we've dealt with it. Let's get some more zombies in here, in the hood. Um, so flash charges, yeah, I get them from killing enemies. So my potions will will automatically refresh after I get a level up as well. But they'll also go back to to slow, slowly over time, so I just have to, you know, kill stuff and that's it. Um, nothing I particularly want here except for maybe the chainmail vest. So I want a little bit of armor, and that gives me gives me mana, but I need the slots. Oh, well, actually, maybe not. Okay, I'm good with that. Try to utilize everything I have, and also I'm going to get Lord of the Dead. Lord of the Dead will give me an extra zombie, so I figure veering into that for a second and. Giving a bit more health and damage is actually probably in my best interest. It's only one point. I'm not going to put any more and I can get Reign of Arrows, which is an ability used by rangers and bow characters and not by me, so I don't- I have no interest in such things. Okay, so let's start getting this guy. So you can see all this guy's malice shot. He has a bunch of uh, modifiers on him and uh, he's, he's, he's a tough one, but uh, fortunately we got him. And this is why the zombies are here. The zombies are actually doing their job now, uh, since I got that. Because there's now one more of them, and there's four of them running around with me, which is really nice. But they can't heal on their own right now. I would have to either get some sort of uh, ability to, like, I would have to get an aura or, or a potion to augment their, their healing. But that's that was basically my intention here, was I'm like, well, I'm going to use zombies kind of to tank a little bit. And then I'm going to just... I'm not going to concern myself with uh, these guys. I'm going to just focus purely upon spell damage and just uh, killing them as quickly as humanly possible. And hey, what do you know? It's actually kind of working. I'm actually surprised I've gotten this far. We'll check how Pat's doing in just a minute. Because that's what we really care about. Oh, Pat, Pat went offline. Ah, I win, I think. I don't know. He, you know, he, he, the thing is, if you die, you can just continue it. But at this point, I think I've been more than uh, through this. Oh, here we go. We've got we've gotten pretty far through this, so um, and at this point, I'm, I'm I think I'm I think I'll do I think I'll do well. I say that we're still only at like level six though. But yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to kill most of everything. And let's just surround ourselves with zombies because I am the Lord of the Dead now. So oh, another one. My intent is just to kind of focus on 
the biggest targets while my zombies hopefully provide some sort of a distraction. Please die. Thanks. And then, then after after that, I can just clean up with freezing pulse. And you see, this is like this is like the greatest ability because I can just go right through all these guys. It's delicious. This area, man, I love it. Still nothing on the ground, particularly engaging there. Uh, this is more white items. I think I'm at the point where I can be I can be selfish and just go kind of like, well, you know, I want white items all the time. And, and that's that's exactly exactly what we're doing. I'm not sure if there's another area boss here. I, so far there's been area bosses everywhere, pretty much. We want to kill them, though, because they they have really good loot. Some people play this and they go and they kind of like skip areas and shit like that. I'm going to try not to, because it just seems like it's fun. <laughs> I need more mana. Oh, come on. Give me mana. Yeah, I, I just didn't know how I'd build this character. Oh, look at chest. And it just has a goat hide buckler. Which is, uh, it's an evasion buckler, believe it or not. You can believe such such strange things. And these guys resist cold, so I probably should just use the fireball I have. And wool gloves on him. And we're gonna take the wool gloves. Because that means even more energy shield. Constantly these blue Roas. They're like the worst. But, you know, we're, we're pretty good, actually, for levels right now. Okay, uh, Paula, Emmett, we don't care about. Okay, so the next one is going to be either we get two goat wands or we get a bunch of rings from the... Okay, so learning is going to give us some rings and augmentation orbs and stuff. So basically, do I want uh, class items or do I want rings? We're good on rings, so let's get the class items. And remember when I said I was going to upgrade one of my items? Let's upgrade one of these to a magic item. That's a lot of... Uh, that's right there. We're gonna do that. We could also chromatic something if we really want to. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, can we augment, sorry, can we augment this? No, we can't. Okay. And the shield, I would love to replace it with a twig shield, except it's a crappy twig shield, so, yeah, we can't really do anything with that. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything with anything. All right. Actually, we're gonna keep the chainmail vest in case I need the sockets. Oh wait, we're not actually done this area. What the fuck? I thought that was the exit. I'm retarded. Or no? Wait, yeah. Oh, well, actually, I'm not because I, I, I. That's actually pretty reasonable to assume that because uh, uh, that the chests were there. So no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm a smart individual. Uh, all right. I'm guessing the area boss is here. Oh, it's a. What the hell is this place? Okay, there's a lot of guys here. Uh, let's go get the this guy first. Sawbones. All right. Well, we should be able to handle him. I mean, I'll, I I have to focus him down, or else he's just gonna keep making stupid ass minions on me. Let's try and get around him. That's a tough mother, but he's dead. That's fun. Okay, let's take the the koi. If I actually probably care about. Okay, let's just summon some of these guys. All right, and we're gonna continue up the cast speed of uh, the side of the things. We also got orb of alchemy, which means now I can actually use it on an item like this. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, and I just killed all my raised zombie things because they were in that they were in that item. Okay, so where's Freezing Pulse? Okay, Freezing Pulse is here. And now let's go in. So I've just raised Freezing Pulse by one level by having it in this item. And it, gives, it does a bunch of lightning damage as well and gives me some intelligence. So that's nice. That's, that's good. That's good to have. Um, also this Coif I want to use. Probably. 12 to Strength. Okay, I just changed my mind. I don't want to use that it's stupid stuff. Get out of here. Uh, probably don't need that anymore. I'll keep this just in case. And I'm going to... Just get rid of that, too. So we are now in the uh, some ta tomb or something. I don't even know where the fuck we are. And and now we're kind of like, now we're in an actual dungeon. So the actual dungeon crawler. And there's goat men here. Are these the leaping ones? Because that would be terrible. 
Oh well, don't worry, my trusty Kiwi will protect me. Uh, leather scale boots, no. Yeah, there's some leaping ones. There's also these fuckers. Okay, let's just focus one at a time. They have these stupid ass shock nova things. Okay, so, but we can just target like kind of both of them like this. Burning arrow, just in case you wanted to be a ranger. You know, I think it's just it's just telling me at this point, it's like, why didn't you play ranger, Mike? Why are you a dumb? You should have played ranger. I don't really like rangers actually, so it's okay. Yeah, let's get our zombies back. I think that Lord of the Dead thing was actually a really good call, because they, they're really useful. They keep they keep some of the heat off of me, like, th right now. Even though, like, I lose them, like, fl they, they drop like flies. They're ridiculous. 